Hello everyone, I'm Kayla and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the best and worst products from Brandy Melville. I've linked all these products down below, so if you do want to purchase any of them, I'll have them linked right there. This isn't like everything that I think is the best and the worst, it's only a few things because I didn't want this video to be an hour long, but I did make a Google Docs, very professional of me of things that I think are the best and the worst. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the worst because save the best for last. This is like all my opinion, so don't hate on me if you don't agree with me because we're all entitled to our own opinions, but one of my least favorite things I own from there is the Skylar tank. You know, it retails for $20, which is a really good price, but on me, it's just like personally not flattering at all. And it's just, something that I kind of regret buying honestly and then another thing that I regret buying is the Talia dark wash jeans these retail for $45 I've never worn them once and I definitely wasted $45 so I'm a little bit butthurt about that but they just look so bad on me they do not flatter my body at all they do not fit me and like I said I've never worn them so the quality on them is really good, but try them on before you buy them, if you're gonna buy them. Because I did not try them on and they look so bad. Next is the Addison denim shorts. These are $35 and I think that they are a waste of $35. I don't personally own them because no offense to anyone that owns them, you know, fashion is all about expressing yourself but i just personally don't like these i think they're very hideous so that is why i think that they're one of the worst products that brandy melville sells and going along with that we have the Faye denim shorts these ones are 38 dollars and they're like the same style they're just they're just bad but i would never spend 38 dollars on dad shorts that you can buy from goodwill Next we have the Kenzie 90s denim skirt. This one is $35 and it looks like the Duggars would wear it. I definitely could not pull it off. I mean, if you can pull it off, then that's like great for you because I could never pull it off. Also looks like something you could find at Goodwill. And like I said, looks like something the Duggars would wear and I'm just not rocking with that. And then last on my worst list is the Rosa sweat shorts. I'm not talking about like the short ones, I'm talking about the long ones. They look super comfortable, but for $25, I feel like you could buy the same things either at a thrift store or even at Walmart. And that was it for the worst, but now moving on to the best. First up, we have the Ashlyn top, which I'm actually wearing right now. I have on this one that has a little angel painting setting on it. The plain Ashland tops retail for $18, but then the ones with the little graphics on them retail for $20. I just love the fit of these, it's super flattering and the perfect cropped length. And they have so many cute different graphics and designs as well as just plain ones. Next we have the Christy hoodie and the oversized fit of the Christy hoodie. This one retails for $38 and there's so many different colorways of this one. It's so incredibly comfortable and I think it's just a good purchase and I get a lot of use out of it. Going along with that, we have the cropped version, which is called the Crystal Hoodie. Once again, just a basic, comfortable little thing to throw on. And for $28, I think the quality is really good for that price. Then there's the Connor Tank. I honestly have been wearing these tanks all summer. They're so easy to just throw on with a pair of jean shorts. And the cut of them is just so cute. And I think, honestly, this is one of my favorite purchases from Brandy Melville because first of all, it's only $16, and second of all, I get so much wear out of these tanks. Next, I have the Griffin shorts. These are just the basic biker shorts that Brandy sells at $16. That's a great price. You know, they're a good cotton material, super soft. Then I have the Lisette shorts. I just bought the Hawaii ones like a week ago, and when I tell you I've been wearing them all day, every day, I truly mean that. I wear them around the house, to bed. I can even go out in them because they're cute enough for it. And at $18, um, I'm definitely gonna be purchasing way more of these ones. They have a bunch of different cities and stuff, like New York, Hawaii, just plain ones. And these might be some of my favorites. Then there's the Phoebe skirt. I'm actually wearing this skirt right now. It's just a really cute basic cotton skirt with a little elastic band right here. And this was only $20. I truly wear this skirt so often and I love it. And last but not least, I have the Holly dress. This dress retails for only $24, which I think is an amazing price because it's 
so incredibly flattering, especially the way the model presents it. You can never go wrong with basics and this is something that you're gonna purchase now and wear for years. And those are all the products that I think are the best and the worst from Brandy Melville. Let me know if you want a part two because I didn't include that many things in this video. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!